Musakwa, Wikipedia article audio. Musakwa is a Cambodian former politician and rights activist. She was a member of parliament for Batambang from 2013 to 2017, a seat which she previously held from 1998 to 2003. She was a member and vice president of the Cambodian National Rescue Party until its dissolve, and previously a member of the Sam Rainsy Party prior to its merger with the Human Rights Party. As a member of Funsen Peck, she also served as Minister of Women and Veterans Affairs in Hun Sen's coalition government from 1998 to 2004. She is currently one of 118 senior opposition figures serving a five-year ban from politics following a court ruling on November 16, 2017. Early Life Return from Exile April 2009 Defamation Action 2017 Threats to End the Rebellion Musakwa Flees Personal Life Awards and Recognition Sakwa was born in Phnom Penh to a Sino Khmer father a year later, she relocated to San Francisco to join her brother there. When the Khmer Rouge took control of Cambodia in 1975, her parents vanished. Sakwa would remain in exile for the next 18 years. While Sakwa was in the U.S., she earned a bachelor's degree in psychology from San Francisco State University and a master's degree in social work from the University of California, Berkeley before returning to Cambodia to help rebuild a society shattered by war. Sakwa returned to Cambodia in 1989 after 18 years in exile, and has worked as an advocate for human rights working to stop human trafficking, domestic violence and worker exploitation. Sakwa formed the first organization for women, called Kemara, and joined the Funsen Peck political party, winning a National Assembly seat representing Batambang in 1998. Soon afterwards, she was asked to take over the Ministry of Women's and Veterans Affairs, one of only two women in the cabinet. In July 2004 she stepped down from her role as a minister, citing corruption as a major obstacle to her work. Almost immediately, she transferred her allegiance to the Sam Rainsy Party, where she is deputy head of the steering committee. At a press conference held on April 23, 2009, Mu Sakwa announced she would file a defamation complaint against Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen with the Phnom Penh Municipal Court. I have nothing against Samdek the Prime Minister. As a member of Parliament, I respect him. But the words of Samdek the Prime Minister said in public affect my honour and my dignity as a Khmer woman. With this complaint, I only want justice and honour as a Khmer woman, Sakwa said. She added that she only claimed a 500 riel compensation as a token, and a public apology on the part of the head of government. Following Sakwa's announcement, the government was expected to file a countersuit for gravely defaming the PM. The Ministry of Justice was expected to request the President of the Parliament to vote to remove Sakwa's parliamentary immunity. With only 25% of the votes, the SRP would be powerless to prevent further action against her including imprisonment. Sakwa's letter calling for support from the international community as I walk to prison was circulated around the World Wide Web. On two previous occasions, when SRP party leader Sam Rainsy's parliamentary immunity was removed, he fled Cambodia under threat of criminal charges and went into exile in France. Since the arrest of Kem Saka Prime Minister Hun Sen has warned that it is not done yet and warns that the rebellion crackdown will not stop with Saka.
On the October 3, 2017 Musakwa fled the country after a tip-off that she will be arrested. Sakwa was married to Scott Leeper, an American whom she married in 1984, and is a mother of three daughters. Leeper died in 2016. She lived in the United States for 18 years and attended university there. She also reportedly lost her ability to speak formal Khmer, having left her home country for almost two decades. In 2005, she received the Leadership Award in Washington, D.C., from the Vital Voices Foundation, CO founded by Senator Hillary Clinton. In 2002 she mobilized 12,000 women candidates to run for commune elections, with over 900 women winning and still actively promoting the women's agenda at the grassroots level. In that same year she helped create and pass the Prevention of Domestic Violence Bill, which imposes severe penalties on marital rape and abuse of minors. Her work in Cambodia also includes campaigns with men to end domestic violence and the spread of HIV-AIDS, working for the rights of female entrepreneurs, working for labor laws that provide fair wages and safe working conditions for female workers, and working for the development of communities for squatters with schools, health centers, sanitation, and employment. In 2005, Sakwa was one of 1,000 women nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize for her work against sex trafficking of women in Cambodia and Thailand. Also in 2005, Sakwa was honored with the Vital Voices Human Rights Global Leadership Award for her efforts to stem the tide of human trafficking. In 2006, Sakwa was awarded the Elise and Walter A. Haas International Award from the University of California, Berkeley for Distinguished Record of Service in Cambodia and an Honorary Ph.D. in Law from the University of Guelph, Canada. In 2009, Sakwa was awarded the Eleanor Roosevelt Award from the Eleanor Roosevelt Project at the George Washington University for Leadership in Human Rights. In 2010, Sakwa was named the 2010 People's Choice Honoree by Global Exchange for their Human Rights Heroes Award. The Human Rights Awards Gala brings together activists, supporters, and friends to recognize the efforts of exceptional individuals and organizations from around the country and around the world. In 2015, Sakwa was honored by her alma mater, San Francisco State University, as the Alumna of the Year.